I think we'll get it through. Mitch McConnell knows how to do things. The Republican effort to repeal and replace Obamacare now in the hands of the Senate with a controversial bill that narrowly passed in the House. The bill is passed. Faces an uphill battle. It could change a little bit, could get maybe even better. Senators on both sides of the aisle aren't in any hurry, vowing to do things their way. Mr. President, I'm sorry to disappoint you. This bill in its current form is not getting through the Senate. No way, no way. Well, the Senate will write its own bill. I don't think that the House bill necessarily predicts what is in the Senate bill. The legislation passed in the House eliminates the tax penalty for Americans who choose not to buy insurance, replaces the generous subsidies offered under Obamacare with tax credits, and rolls back Medicaid expansion starting in 2020. It also increases the limit on what insurers can charge older enrollees and allows insurers to charge customers more if they have a pre-existing condition. Among those who would lose the most in this plan, those with pre-existing conditions, the elderly and low-income Americans, while younger Americans, the healthy, the middle and upper class, and the insurance companies stand to benefit. <laughs> Democrats who voted unanimously against the bill taunting Republicans after the vote, which they say will be a political liability in 2018. Some of you have said, well, they'll fix it in the Senate. But you have every provision of this bill tattooed on your forehead. You will glow in the dark on this one. Republican Senator Lindsey Graham stressing that the bill should be viewed with caution because it was rushed through the House without a cost and impact estimate. We should have had a CBO uh, estimate. I don't always agree with CBO. In fact, quite frequently, I disagree. But we should still have an assessment from them. Some House Republicans admitting they hadn't even read the legislation before voting yes. I will fully admit, Wolf, I did not, but I can also assure you my staff did. I would be dishonest if I said I individually read it all. That's why we have a legislative staff. Something then-Congressman Paul Ryan blasted Democrats for back in 2009. So I don't think we should pass bills that we haven't read. We shouldn't rush this thing through.